Welcome to Mondays with Mira. I am really happy to be introducing you to this wonderful biography inspired, written by a friend of mine, Jerry Chase Ferris, and it's called Noel Webster and His Words. And it's also very nicely illustrated by Vincent X. Kirsch. So let's have a look. You see it's got this, you know, old-timey vintage look and um, with the, the use of the line quality and the hatching that makes it, gives it that kind of old-fashioned wood blocky look. And the same with the text. But then when we open it up we can see that it's pretty contemporary as well. And one of the things that's really interesting that's going on right now is there's this whole emphasis emphasis on what's called um, expository writing. And what that is is that you're sharing factual information. And expository texts do not have to be boring. This has a ton of factual information in it, but it's done in a really delightful and playful way. <laughs> Noah Webster always knew he was right and he never got tired of saying so even if sometimes he wasn't. He was, he said, full of confidence. Now, belief that one is right from the very beginning. So are you getting a, getting a clue as to who Noah Webster might have been? And look at how the text is like how the face is elongated and how the illustrator has really played up the humor in this by making Noah a kind of a caricature, but an endearing caricature. And so then it gives us some, a bunch of biographical information that kind of builds our in interest. It's just such a cool book. Look at this. Doesn't this make you want to run out and buy this book and read it? This book would be a big hit in schools, encouraging literacy, encouraging following your dreams. I'm going to share just a bit from this page. Now Noah needed to read the 2,000 pages he had worked on for almost 20 years to be sure there were no mistakes. Next he needed to find just the right publisher. Last he needed to take a nap. I would too. In 1828, when Noah was 70 years old, wow, his American Dictionary of the English Language was published. He gave it to America with these words, To my fellow citizens, for their happiness and learning, for their mortal and religious elevation, and for the glory of my country. So it was a very patriotic endeavor and very much both ahead of his time and of his time. And then it gives us more information and then, and, uh, and she's got this through line of Noah being right. It's very clever. And then here we have a timeline of what was going on with Noah Webster at the same time of what was going on in, uh, in the world and particularly in America. So let's see who published this and they were very smart to do so. Oh she also has more information about Noah and a list of the sources that she used in her research I and mean, a tremendous amount of work went into creating this. So thank you Jerry Chase Ferris, thank you Vincent X. Kirsch and thank you Horton Mifflin for a wonderful job. That's it for now. Bye.